The best part about mobile gaming is that it's an ever-changing space. A new month is coming up, and that means a lot of new games. Hi folks, I'm Paul, and today on Android Tools, we're going to be counting down our top picks for the top 10 best new Android and iOS games of August 2022. Most of them are free and some cost a few bucks, but all of them will keep you entertained at home or when you're out and about. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Amazon Coins and Puzzles and Survival. Puzzles and Survival is a free-to-play match 3 game in which you can match shapes and colors while in the battle to get powerful attacks. The game features addictive and equally deadly gameplay. This match 3 game brings various elements to life. No more idle waiting for strategy gamers while you have this epic match 3 puzzles to kill zombies. The game is a dark horse in-game ranking list and it's amazing. Do you know what else is amazing? Amazon Coins. If you like buying in-game currency and you own either an Android or Amazon device, I'll highly recommend you to use Amazon Coins. You can save a lot on in-app purchases by using Amazon Coins. All you have to do is download the Amazon App Store, open it up, and get puzzles and survival from there. Then, just create an account and top up with Amazon Points, which you can then use either on puzzles and survival or any other game that can be found inside the Amazon App Store. And currently, there's a special offer available in the game where if you spend at least 10,000 Amazon Points, you'll get an 18% discount. And if you buy more, you'll get up to 20% discounts, which is a pretty insane saving, instead of using the regular in-app purchase. So, if you're thinking of buying stuff for your favorite games, at least use Amazon Coins for some great savings. Now, you can also play Android games on Windows 11 if you use Amazon App Store. So, make sure to download Puzzles and Survival from the Amazon App Store. Starting off at number 10, we have Feist. Feist is a multi-award winning, beautifully handcrafted action game. The game sees you controlling a squat little creature that's traversing a series of reasonably short levels. The thing is though, everything within those levels is doing its utmost to kill you, often with a decent amount of success. You've got some simple controls to try and keep you safe. A couple of arrows on the left of the screen move your left and right, and a couple of buttons on the right let you jump and interact with certain objects. It's a small skill set, but the ingenuity in the game comes from the way you use the environment. There are rocks to throw and pile, traps to trigger, places to hide, and so much more. Moving on to number 9, we have Vice Online. Vice Online is an open-world game inspired by the successful GTA, which lets you venture into a lawless city. Controlling your character's movements throughout each game, you will complete countless missions or walk freely through the streets of each neighborhood. As in other similar titles of this genre, Vice Online features 3D graphics. The visuals are pretty realistic, bringing more excitement to each challenge. Before starting your adventure in the city, you can customize the character you will control in the third person. To do this, a comprehensive editor allows you to modify multiple features of your character's appearance. Another thing to keep in mind is that the controls in Vice Online are simple and intuitive. Coming in at number 8, we have Seven Nights Revolution. This is a role-playing game where you will live many adventures in a fantasy world where sword and sorcery are the law. A huge RPG in all its sections and the sequel to one of the most popular video games of the genre. A title that stands out for its spectacular visuals, fun battles, and powerful video scenes. The story of this RPG begins 20 years after the events of the original Seven Nights. You are part of the Dawnbreak mercenaries whose mission is to find Rudy, the last living member of the Seven Knights. All this after witnessing the invasion of the enemy army of one of the great cities of Seven Knights 2. In this RPG, you will experience exciting battles where you can control up to 8 different heroes, each with unique characteristics and special skills. Next up at number 7, we have Misty City. This is a tower defense on mobile where you will fight with occult people and monsters they've summoned. The story takes place in London where you have to discover a strange and mysterious case regarding Big Ben. In your team, there will be a princess from a British royal family, a singer from Spain, and some scholars. Yes, instead of towers in Misty City, we have heroes. Each of them comes with two active skills and three team roles. Defense, Control, and Damage. The devs promise different modes like roguelike or endless challenges. And if you feel like it, why not fight another player in an arena? Overall, this is simple and fun with surprisingly advanced graphics and very satisfactory and fluid action. Down to number 6 we have Mr. Me Too. 
This is the action game sequel to Mr. Meat. In the first installment, a butcher had turned into a bloodthirsty zombie. The goal was to solve puzzles to survive and rescue the hostage. In this second installment, Mr. Meat is in jail. After being arrested at the end of the first installment, Mr. Meat was sentenced to execution for his terrible atrocities. The execution is attended by family and acquaintances, but a surprise is waiting for them. The game setting is larger than in the first installment. In Mr. Meat, you will find yourself inside a jail where you have to free a girl. In the new installment, you can move around different areas inside the jail to complete side missions. Moving on to number 5, we have Dream of Legends. Dream of Legends is a real-time combat game where two teams of three characters each have to battle it out in a setting full of obstacles and elements to interact with. Your objective? Teach the other team a lesson. Controlling your character is very simple. You only need to use the left virtual joystick to move your hero while attacking your enemies using the joystick on the right. In the game, you can find various game modes. In the rewards mode, your objective is to finish the game with more stars than the other team. In other game modes, you have to fight for a series of crystals found in the middle of the map or compete directly against other players in an epic deathmatch. <laughs> Next up at number 4 we have Devil War. Devil War is a science fiction first person shooter that takes place in 2033, where humans have activated the Ring of Hera. In the game, you must complete the mission and stop the spread of evil. In 2053, the earth was full of devils. In order to destroy the portal, you must carry out a mission known as Finality. The goal of this mission is to restore peace and save humanity. In order to do this, you must complete seven areas and defeat seven lords. Develop your pet, which is an imp, and he will help you in defeating the devils. Also, upgrade your character's attributes and weapons. Complete missions to get various rewards. The game's visual effect is also very smooth and easy to control. In addition, it features a robust game level design and realistic character models. Coming in at number 3, we have Frost and Flame. This is a management and strategy game where you reign over a little kingdom that's growing little by little until it becomes a real empire. But this won't be easy. You'll need to manage all your resources really well to help your kingdom prosper. The gameplay is simple. You have to construct and improve the buildings in your kingdom with the objective of getting more resources and making your kingdom grow. To do this, you'll need farms, mines, barracks, stables, taverns, and many other buildings. You'll need food, wood, and gold to keep your empire afloat. The management of the empire is important, but you also have to pay attention to something equally important. War. Next up at number 2 we have Donut Punks. Donut Punks is an action game where you play the role of some very brave kids whose goal is to defeat all the zombies that cross their path. But defeating the living dead isn't their only goal. You will also have to gather a series of donuts that you find along the way to gain points and prevail against your enemies. The visuals in Donut Punks show you all the action from a top-down viewpoint. After choosing your character, you are ready to go through each scene looking for zombies that keep appearing. What's more, always try and walk over to the donuts to put them in a pink storage cache. There is no doubt that this game will engage you in multiple challenges and it will prove to you that these kids aren't scared of zombies. And finally at number 1, we have Hyper Front Light. This is a pure Valorant style hero shooter where two teams of up to 5 players can go head to head in epic duels, where both firearms and special powers can be used. This version of the game is much lighter than the original, taking up almost half the amount of space while managing to offer a practically identical experience. The match lasts between 10 and 20 minutes depending on the game mode and the skill of each of the two teams. However, thanks to the matchmaking system, usually both teams are more or less equal. Your goal in each game depends on the game mode. In bomb mode, one of the teams will have to plant a bomb in a certain location while the other team will need to deactivate it. Whereas in deathmatch mode, you will simply have to kill as many rivals as you can. And that is all for today. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every week. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, I'm Paul. You can follow us on our social media. We'll see you next time right here on Android Tools.